In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at turning smart guides on and off. You ever notice when you drag objects around, these pink lines that show up telling you, hey, this part of the image lines up with that, or the left hand side lines up with this piece over here, or you're centered. All these little pink lines, this intersection point right here that you see, all of that is called smart guides. If you don't see it, they're actually really helpful in moving objects around and getting them lined up without having to use the alignment panel. So if we go up to the view dropdown, we can actually see about mm, halfway down or so. A little further than that is the smart guides option. And right now I have it turned on. If it's turned off, then you don't get any of those little, uh, you know, helper guides, if you will. So those smart guides. But if we go back to view and we turn it on, we do get those guides and you can actually feel it kind of lock and click into place. One quick tip with smart guides, if you find that it's lining up with something that it shouldn't be, you can actually zoom in a little bit further to kind of isolate where this is lining up. So that's very helpful if you're lining up to too many different objects or an object that's not even on your artboard, you can zoom into your artboard view and it won't count those objects that are outside the artboard anymore. It'll pretty much just stick to what's in uh, within your view. Uh, or your current view. So sometimes you do have to do that, like if you're lining up to something pretty small, um, then you know it's better to zoom in and those smart guides will recognize that you're zoomed in. That's how you can turn smart guides on and off and use them here in Illustrator.